Hi everyone, Spicy Lady here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am going to be demonstrating Arizona Gunslinger Smoking Hot Bubble Gum Habanero Hot Sauce. Pretty rare flavor there. Um, you don't really find anything that combines the flavor of bubble gum and heat unless you go online and find one of those uh, Carolina Reaper gumballs or that sort of thing. This is actually the first time I've ever seen anything in the hot sauce form that combines bubble gum and the heat, which is pretty fantastic. I enjoy it. Um, it's best, personally for me, it's best with chicken. I have used it in tacos and I have used it on eggs, which I don't really recommend. I don't care for that flavor mixture together, uh, but to each their own, you can definitely try it. Don't let me sway you. Um, when you taste the hot sauce, the first thing you taste is the bubblegum flavor, and then the heat comes in secondary. I don't think it's super duper hot, so, uh, but then again, you don't really want to listen to what I have to say on the matter, because I am all about my reapers, scorpions, and of course, ghost pepper, and I said that out of order. Anyway, um, you can find this on azgunslinger.com, but you better act fast because it's limited edition. So if you want to try it, get online and place that order. Uh, another exciting thing that I have for you is a chicken wing recipe using this sauce. Um, just as a disclaimer, this is not my recipe. I actually got it from the azgunslinger.com website. So essentially what you're going to need is uh, two pounds of wings, which would yield about 12 to 15 pieces one quarter cup of the bubble gum sauce, and a half stick of melted butter. Um, what you wanna do is, um, or you have different options of how to cook it rather, you can, deep air, you can deep fry it or air fry it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes, or if you prefer, you can bake it in a roasting pan for 425 degrees Fahrenheit, at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, turn and bake another 30 minutes. Um, then what you want to do is you want to mix the bubblegum sauce and butter together and when the wings are done you place the wings in a large bowl add the sauce and toss to coat completely and there you have it you have your bubblegum you have your uh, bubblegum wings and a new experiment and a recipe to test out and see if you like there's different ways to make the wings um, personally for me I like to marinate the wings first and then cook them and then add more sauce after the fact. It's similar to dirt style, however, there's an extra step when you do dirt style. So I'm pretty sure that when you do dirt style, you marinate the wings, cook them, take them out, put more marinade on, and then uh, cook them again, take them out, and then put a final dressing of marinade on them. And you just get all those flavors just kind of melded in and just really into your meat together. It's really great. I definitely prefer that method of cooking. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or what you can do also is go to my Facebook at The Spicy Lady. And uh, there you can see all of my blogs and commentary as well as my videos. Thank you again for tuning in and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.